welcome back to strength of material lectures by soul thinking and this is our another topic on bending stress and beams and today's topic is what is neutral axis what is compression zone what is tension zone in a beam okay now you can see here when a beam is bent a part of it is subjected to a tension and a part of it comes under compression what it is saying when you subject a beam for example this is a beam right here this is a beam right you applied a load on it due to application of load this beam will bend right something like this it will bend like this right now when the beam is subjected to the load this is going to bend like this right now now due to this load the part of the beam comes under tension okay some of the part of this beam will come under tension we will see this this beam now due to this load there will be bending and in due to, and in the bend there will be some tension zone and there will also be compression zone okay and there will also be a space with no tension no compression okay that we call as neutral zone or neutral axis okay that's what we are going to see here now let me show you this now I'm assuming this is the bent part okay this load will bend it like this and I am drawing this shape here okay now upper part will be in compression as you can see they are trying to come close to each other this will be in compression okay also the fiber below it will also come under compression okay suppose this is another com another fiber it will also come under compression okay now there is another axis like this okay we will talk about it later now the below part will come under tension as you can see here you might have seen when you bend an object okay when you bend an object like this okay now this part is in tension right this is in compression okay similarly this part of the beam will be in tension okay these are all the fibers okay now there will be another fiber which will be also in tension t for tension also here there will be fibers which will be in compression okay but there will always be one fiber which will be neither in tension nor in compression okay as you can see here when a beam is bent a part of it is subject to tension okay when a beam is bent when we bend this beam as shown here some part will go in compression some part will go in tension right some part will go come under compression and, and and the interface between the tension zone and the compression zone will stay neutral okay now this line is between what this line is between tension zone and compression zone okay this will be the neutral axis okay we denote the neutral axis with an a okay suppose this i am drawing the neutral axis i will write an a means neutral axis okay now this will of course the neutral axis will bend okay neutral axis will also bend into circular shapes as this is the assumption now even if it will come it, it will bend but it will not be in tension or in compression this is the reason we call it as neutral axis okay neutral means it is not coming under tension or compression so that's what is written here 
okay and it is marked as neutral axis and a okay now the neutral axis is obtained by joining all the center of gravity points on all the sections of the beam now what does it mean let me show you here now this beam is something like this let me show you here okay now this is the beam now it has a cross section here it has a cross section here now it if I draw another cross section here okay this uh, we can draw another cross section here also we can draw another cross section here right we can also draw another cross section here I mean say this beam is composed of cross sections right like this we can draw as many cross sections as we want but there is always a center of gravity okay for example this is the cross section okay i am zooming it here i am writing it here now there will be the center of gravity okay let us say this is the center of gravity of this okay now let us say this is the center of gravity okay we call the center of gravity with g let us say this is the center of gravity of this one let us say this is the center uh, let me change the color first let us say this is the center of gravity this is the center of gravity of this cross section this is the center of gravity and this is the center of gravity okay now when you draw a line joining all these points okay this is our neutral axis okay now let me see it the, when we see this beam sideways okay this is the side view this is the side view of this beam now since this is the center of gravity and this line is denoting the side of the cross section right so it means let us say suppose the center of gravity is here okay because this is a symmetric it is symmetric so the center of gravity will be the geometric center right so center of gravity is geometric center geometric center now again if you don't know about the center of gravity and what i'm talking about you can watch a video lecture and i hope and i will recommend you to please watch my videos in sequence as one by one so that you can understand better okay now let's say this is the center of gravity of this cross section now this is the center of gravity of this cross section this is center of gravity and this and this and this and this and this and now when you draw a line joining all these points okay we will find the neutral axis okay now if there is a cross section suppose this, this was this is a rectangle now it is symmetric we know a rectangle is symmetric okay now there may be cross sections which are not symmetric for example uh, like this this is a rectangle but here is a hole okay this is a hole and the rectangle only this part is left okay now is this where is the center of gravity now this the, now here the center of gravity will not be the geometric center okay it won't be here okay we have to find it individually okay again i am saying you if you don't know please watch my center of gravity lectures you will understand everything now this is the neutral axis okay we can find this now how much will be the depth okay now suppose i am applying a load here let's say i'm applying a load w here okay And yes, before I continue, I want to tell you, you can download the PDF of this video lecture and the link will be in the description, okay? Don't worry about writing, just try to understand. Now, when I apply this load, let's say this is simply support beam, okay? Here are two supports, okay? Now, when you apply this load, okay, 
it will bend like this okay let me draw some uh, reference lines it will bend something like this okay and we are assuming these it will bend into circular arcs okay basically it will not bend into the circular arcs but this is an assumption okay we assume this in the theory of pure bending okay again if you don't know the theory of pure bending but uh, never mind it's not important right now and by the way you can watch every lecture on theory of the theory of pure bending you will i have mentioned the assumption that the beam bends into circular arcs okay like this is a circular arc okay anyways now it is going to bend like this okay now there will be some neutral axes okay neutral axes now the part above this part will be in compression right this is going to be in compression and the below part it is going to be in tension okay now this is we call this as compression zone compression zone of beam and this is tension zone of beam okay now this is a neutral axis it is the interface between compression zone and tension zone right this is the neutral axis okay this will bend yes here is the neutral axis it was straight right here okay now here the neutral axis bends although it bends but there will be no tension or no compression in the neutral axis and that's it for today's lecture and again if you need the pdf you can find the pdf in the description and again if you have any problems understanding this please ask me in the comments and also if you need tutoring in strength of materials okay i also offer one-on-one -on -one online tutoring you can also contact me for that and i think that's it for today see you in the next class thank you